COVID-19 and the virus which spreads COVID-19 disease is SARS-CoV-2. Very soon we got out so many different variants, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta. Airport screening has lost its value. Risk so huge for COVID-19 infection. Whenever a uh, bacteria or virus is uh, get the opportunity to spread uh, at such a huge numbers, uh, there is always a possibility uh, to a near certainty that uh, new variants will come again and again. And, and that's what we are seeing uh, with, uh, uh, with COVID-19 and the virus which spreads COVID-19 disease is SARS-CoV-2. So if we look at uh, its history, uh, very soon we got so many different variants uh, alpha beta gamma and delta then we got the omicron uh, once the omicron uh, came uh, it has started uh, producing its own sub variants uh, and all these are uh, coming out of uh, omicrons there is not a huge difference uh, in mortality uh, among these uh, variants little bit difference in signs and symptoms so in uh, previously we used to get uh, uh, loss of uh, smell and taste uh, as a classical uh, sign and symptom of uh, covid-19 infection but uh, recently uh, that uh, you know uh, that uh, symptom is uh, not so much prevalent in uh, coming diseases so i think uh, uh, until the you know the data which is available to me at this time that uh, these variants have a higher mortality than previous uh, sub-variants. Uh. Yes, definitely. And uh, that's the data we have, that people who have not only received uh, their original vaccination, but have, are updated on their booster vaccination, they have a much lower chances of uh, going to hospital or dying because of this uh, disease. So if we look at the uh, data which is available to us uh, the most deaths uh, st till today which are happening across the world is among the number one elderly population or immunocompromised patients uh, and the second though of those who have not updated their booster schedule so if you uh, are supposed to get a booster uh, injection or vaccine uh, please go ahead especially if you are above 50 years old uh, i would highly recommend that uh, different studies have shown that uh, the antibodies uh, uh, levels uh, started to go down within four to six months. Uh, uh, in many countries, uh, it's um, uh, you know, uh, it's once a year that you should get a booster dose. But also, vaccination is not a hundred percent guarantee of uh, that you will be stay away from uh, uh, COVID-19 infection. Remember, the biggest uh, asset we have. Our biggest defense weapon we have is to improve the ventilation where you are sitting. So if it is a room or office, make sure the windows are open, even in the cold weather. And then even if you are a little bit uh, late on your vaccination, uh, there are much more chances of you not getting infection as compared to uh, that even if you are vaccinated and you are in a badly ventilated room. That risk in ventilated building is so huge. Uh, for COVID-19 infection, not only COVID-19 infection, to the Western uh, side of our work. And it's uh, causing a lot of hospitalizations in West in this year uh, or in this season are due to flu and other respiratory diseases, including uh, COVID-19. So the, the pressure which hospitals in some Western countries are uh, experiencing is, is the combination of all these three uh, elements. Airport screening or what we call port of entry screening has lost its value in the last 50 or 100 years. Uh, uh, like 100 years ago, this was a major um, uh, avenue where we could stop uh, new infections coming into the country. And the whole this concept of quarantine actually comes from that time when uh, most of the travel and the trade was happening through sea lines. But now things have changed. Uh, we travel within a few hours from New York to uh, Pakistan, you can actually travel with less than 24 hours. So the the value of airport screening is more like psychological and improves public opinion. 
that the government is doing thing technically and this has been observed uh, in uh, for the last decade or more that uh, the airport screening actually does not help in uh, stopping the viral infections uh, at the borders uh, because our traveling time has now reduced to few hours and we can travel from pakistan to new york in less than 20 hours by the time uh, even though if we have the virus uh, there will be no test in the world which can pick that test uh, and what we call the incubation period uh, so so that's why the the airport screening loses the value but that does not mean that we should not be ready and trying to identify what is happening in our own country with the covid-19 uh, circulation where which we are i think still failing and because we haven't done uh, anything uh, uh, to improve our detection capabilities and our disease surveillance capabilities Personally, I think NCOs, NCOC should emphasize the role of ventilation because this was uh, many international uh, big organization identified uh, it much later, uh, like WHO and CDC. But now they also agreed on that the single one intervention is to improve the ventilation. So the NCOC should stand behind and put its force uh, for the businesses, uh, for uh, anywhere uh, or in the offices to improve their. indoor ventilation and there are multiple ways of doing that the second thing i think is the mask is uh, important uh, in the indoor settings so there is no use because if i go to the uh, for morning walk in a big park and it says uh, you, you need to wear mask that's a, uh, you know that's not uh, uh, protecting anyone um, if you are outside and uh, you have a reasonable distance among each other and it's uh, you know uh, it's not uh, Uh, what we call the very crowded place uh, you should be fine uh, but indoor in indoor uh, settings uh, uh, the threat goes much higher so the government should ask uh, and I, i agree on that uh, should ask for improving ventilation that's the number one that's much better than uh, people wearing those surgical masks which has no value because the mask if you want to people to wear mask they should be wearing uh, something like kn95 mask